this one used to be a crab. There's the one claw there. That's the crab body. I see some crab legs. Yeah, look at that. One, two, three. What was that one, two? But yeah, those are crab legs. Some more on that side. Oh yeah, that's going to be a beautiful crab. What a cool find. Have a look at this awesome crab over here. It's such a beautiful color. It's come out of this muddy area up top here. I don't know if that's why it's that color. So you can see the legs coming out the side there. There's a claw coming out here. But what's got me really excited is there's some more legs there. There's one, two, three there. So I'm thinking there's a crab in the front here, a big crab, and an even larger one at the back here. Yeah, because there are the other legs. There's one, two, three there. Yeah, so this is this is quite something special like two really big crabs in one concretion. Yeah, those are definitely legs there. One, two, three. There's one there, two, three. And then the, the crab in the front. <laughs> it's a huge rock. It must be like 30 kilograms. 20 kilograms, 25 kilograms. But yeah, it's definitely worth taking back. It will be such a beautiful prep. Like if you prep that one and you prep the one at the back, like two beautiful crabs and large ones as well. I've cleaned it up a bit more just to get some of that mud off. And you can see that crab really clearly. If I come round to this side, those are the legs there, one, two, three, and even clearer, whoa, one, two, three, and there's the fourth one. What I'm going to do now is just wrap it up in my jacket so it doesn't get damaged in the bag. That's a, that's a weighty crab there, <laughs> like, that's a decent size. I'm gonna guess 25 kilograms, maybe 30. We'll give it away at home. Well, that's pretty much just filled up my backpack. <laughs> Hopefully it's not gonna tear, because that's, that's a big rock in there. That is a heavy backpack. That's the heaviest one I've carried in a while. I'm keen to see how much it weighs because I've got the big crab and two or three smaller crabs in there. Whew. Well, let's go. I always find it interesting how the concretions, you can see those three over there, there's one, two, three. They're quite horizontal and then when you go across, there's some more over there on the same plane. Always makes me wonder why do they form in those lines? Was that an event? Like a big tsunami coming through, burying a bunch of things. Not sure. If you know, let me know in a comment. You can probably tell I'm <laughs> taking any excuse just to stop walking because this backpack is super heavy. And while I'm carrying this, really heavy backpack there's so many good rocks out here so of course I have to bend over and have a look at them but man it's not easy at the moment a tiny little crab I'm still getting some NZ post bags so if you're in New Zealand and you would like a little fossil send it to my PO box those self-addressed NZ post bags and I'll send you this one. Right 
right about now I'm starting to wonder how good <laughs> that crab is but it's a really good crab it's worth the effort I'm down at the bottom of the hill now I have to go all the way up to there kind of the, the road kind of ends there so it's a really really big hill it never gets easier it's so steep <laughs> and here I am there's the backpack it's literally gonna take me 20 minutes to walk up there it's all along and you have to do all these switchbacks I'm at the top of the hill. <laughs> now it's a pretty level run back to the car, about a kilometer or so. But man, this hill, it's a killer. It doesn't look like much. This is the very end, but it's pretty steep down there. I'm back at the car. I don't even know how long it took me, but it took a while. <laughs> I had to take a, a few breaks up that hill. I'll do a weigh in at home and we can see how much that backpack weighed because I, I think it is quite a bit. Okay, let's see how much it weighs. Twenty six point seven kilograms. That's a fairly big chunk of rock. Let's look how beautiful the colouring is on this crab that's sticking out. A smaller crab in the front. Yeah, so there they are. There's one leg, two leg, three legs. And if I spin it around, there are the other ones. One, two, three, four. I've brought my other big crab out for comparison so we can look at the the width to compare them so this one's a bit wider and from what I can see these leg rings over here these ones are smaller so it's not going to be quite as big as that one inside there but it's still it's going to be a decent sized crab in here thanks so much for watching everyone I hope you enjoyed it I'm so happy with this crab I'm gonna to have to prep it soon I'll add it to the prep queue I've got a few other things that I want to prep first including a mystery shark tooth that I found recently. I'll do that soon. Stay safe, I'll see you on the next hunt. Oh.